Welcome back, folks. Uh, sorry about that glitch on Wednesday, and, but we're back here, and I'll show you the, the couple quick things that I, I meant to show you uh, before we hit that problem. Uh, you saw the video from Amir, Amir showing um, a lot of the features of Power Pivot for SharePoint. So I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this, just hit a couple of quick highlights. Um, so here I am. I, this is the Cube Formula report that I was showing in Excel, and but now I'm looking at it in uh, Internet Explorer, and so it's rendering in HTML uh, through Excel services, and I don't even need Excel uh, client installed on my desktop to to look at it this way, um, but it's still interactive, just like I said before. So I can see what happened just in the first eight weeks of the season, and it'll filter and resort, and the same thing happens for uh, day versus night games, I can update that. I can clear those back out, uh, get back to the default. Uh, there's also something else here I want to show is is this uh, parameters pane, and it was I had it parked over there. And this lets me. And this is a built-in feature. I didn't have to write any code to get this. Uh, it's just a, some features I can toggle in the workbook itself before I I save it to SharePoint. And it uses the um, web part framework because. Excel Services is a web part. It means that uh, it has some standard interfaces in SharePoint, the SharePoint web part framework, for taking uh, filter values. And I can send, this is sort of a built-in web part, if, if you will, that I can send values uh, back to the spreadsheet with. So these parameters that I showed you in Excel client, I can set them here with, with this, uh, this parameters pane. So for instance, points per touchdown, let's make that 8 and let's make it 15 yards required for a point of rushing or, or receiving. Hit apply and you'll see that that flows over here into these cells and uh, I'm at a small resolution so I have to get this out of the way but you'll see that that, that actually took. We have, um, we have an updated set of values and our, our list resorted and I can I can set that back and back to the originals if I want. I think I also might be able to, in this new version of Excel services, just select here and type. Uh, I need to go check why I'm not able to type uh, in this. It might just be a setting I need to, I need to toggle. Um, and uh, so this feature here, the parameters pane, is something that you didn't see. Something else here is that um, I'm not seeing the sheet tabs of the workbook, which is what I see by default. Instead, I'm seeing this just this range here. And again, that's another feature that I, I uh, set up just in the workbook itself. If you're an Excel pro, uh, you'll recognize when I say I use the named range, uh, a named range for this. Okay, so that is some features of the workbook that you didn't see in the video. Um, back here in the gallery, I know that you saw the the Power Pivot gallery in the movie from Amir. Um, in a couple of the workbooks, you see here that you are seeing thumbnails of each sheet by default. Um, and then here's my uh, the football cube formulas report. You see here there's a the calendar. This is where you go to manage uh, data refresh. Uh, here's the you know, here's the settings page, um, and uh, you, I set to it, set it to enable and you know, choose the days that I want, uh, choose the time of day that I want. I can also fill in email uh, addresses of people that should be notified if the if the refresh fails. Uh, I mentioned a little bit, we talked about uh, credential delegation. Um, so I can store credentials in the workbook. Uh, I can use someone's particular Windows credentials if I want to. And then there's also the option of using the secure store service in SharePoint, which is a, uh, a secure store for st uh, actually storing user credentials uh, or account credentials. Uh, I even get control over which data sources within the workbook uh, are, are subject to automatic refresh. There might be some sources that I only want to refresh manually from time to time. So that's the, that's the UI for scheduling refresh. Uh, let's see here. One other thing I want to show is the management dashboard. I talked about how you could monitor usage and you saw that demo, um, that you saw Amir demo that. So it looks a little bit different in uh, the CTP3 release. Um, again, the small resolution sort of makes things, uh, you know, I have to scroll them a little bit, but um, these two um, uh, web parts here are, um, are just Excel workbooks. Again, so these, these um, 
these usage reports are are built in Power Pivot, and so you can customize uh, you can customize these. Uh, you can make make your own and uh, different views. Um, down here is that uh, that animated view uh, that you saw in the uh, a mirror movie. Um, so just wanted to to show um, what it looks like in CTP3, um, and uh, I think that's about it. Oh, actually, there's one other thing. After uh, the presentation yesterday, I put together a few. Uh, bonus slides. I'm not going to talk you through them. I'm just going to sort of show them to you really quick. And I'm going to share these with uh, Marcus and Johan to send out to you guys. So um, I've got a, a slide here on uh, how I view the sort of the ideal relationship between database pros and Excel pros in Power Pivot. And take a look at that and tell me what you think. Um, a couple of uh, points about some DAX functions that I didn't show you uh, that you should at least know that they exist. Um, the, we talked a lot about this, I think, the, the side effect of cubes being created when you, uh, real cubes, when you publish them to SharePoint. Um, I have a bit of advice for the BI pros out there, which is to learn about SharePoint and why. Some contact info, please send me questions. Uh, anything comes up, send it to me. I'll, I'll do my best to answer it in a timely manner. Uh, I think everyone knows about my two websites, and this is not just my website, the fact. We've got a bunch of people working on that. Um, and then I put together a few, three slides of more information, so some links to various things that I think are interesting uh, to database and BI pros or just interesting in general about Power Pivot. So um, some of the things that we looked at, some of the things that we didn't, and that's it. So um, I'll send those out, and again, thanks for your patience, and uh, please, anything comes up, send me a question.